And this is probably so unusual for me. I'm doing two live videos in one day. Um, but I wanted to kind of show you guys um, a live version of this 30 minutes. I'm just going to do 30 minutes a warm up in this little square right here. So um, one of the reasons why I do or I try to do um, 30 minute kind of warm ups is it's almost freeing and knowing that um, I'm not, I don't have plans to do anything with these things. They're not uh, commissions that I'm doing for a particular person. Um, so I get to try things and I get to be more loose. So I limit it to 30 minutes so that I don't just kind of dilly dally my day away. Because once you switch from the left side of the brain to the right side of the brain, you lose track of time. And in, every morning I kind of start out my day with, you know, I do some sort of exercise. I walk the dogs. I do um, breakfast and just social media or marketing, depending on what it is. Like this morning I worked on a press release for a thing that we've got coming up um, next month where I'm going to be honoring a dog and um, with an organization and another organization. So the more will come out about that. It's kind of a surprise for this one guy. So um, anyway, I do my marketing in the morning. So that's a very, very left brain activity. you got to be able to write and um, just kind of Put things together in a way that makes sense. So I've got to be able to switch from my left brain to my right brain. My right brain is the side that is more creative, uh, focuses on color, and all of that jazz. So that's where these little activities kind of come into play. Um, I do draw all out my uh, daily paintings one time, probably like once a week. I draw them out for the week, and that way I don't have to, you know, stop and do it again. Because to me, with the um, Drawing, I switch from left to right probably quite a bit because you're thinking a lot about proportions, you're thinking about size, you're thinking about um, tonal and kind of getting that into the drawing. So I do all that at one time. Um, and the other thing that allows me to do is with uh, these daily paintings, I try something different every day. Like uh, this one's probably the one that was my starting one and kind of the way that I always approach paintings and the palette that I always use. This one I got to, I tried a little bit of sap green in here to see what it would look like. I tried um, another color, it's a cobalt teal in white in here and I kind of liked the way that looked. And then this one I played a little bit more. I st stuck with the, the sap green because I really like that. And then I stuck with the cobalt teal because I like that in here. And then I also tried, uh, what was that color? Hansa, Hansa Yellow Medium in here, and I noticed a kind of a nice subtle improvement to that. So in today's, I'm going to continue pushing my, my, the way that I do things just a little bit. Um, I'm going to probably stick with the sap green. I really liked that green over here. I like the uh, cobalt teal involved in here, um, but I've got uh, a, new, a new color. And it's called Ice Blue. It's not a Gamblin product. It's a Shiva series, Richen Oils. Richen, something like that. But Ice Blue, I'd read somewhere that it makes it like a really, really pretty white rose. And so I'm interested to see what this can do in terms of my pet portraits. And then I'm also going to use some Payne's Gray because that makes a really pretty oh, gray color. And... So yeah, I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes and like my calendar just went off and told me I have uh, my practice painting in 13 minutes. I mean, sorry, 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, hopefully you guys are going to be able to see this. I'm going to take you down there. All right, right there. Okay. There's my reference. There's my reference and let me get my calendar started.
I'm just going to try and lay in a single color all throughout. I'm using my cheap brushes to scrub in the color. When I say cheap, these are like my hog hair type brushes. And I make sure I use some medium to really spread it around. The medium that I use is a Gamblin Neo Maglip. I've used this for years and years and I just really enjoy it. I'm going to take some of the color off. I just dipped it in the Gamsol and taking some of the color off so I can leave in a little bit of highlight based on the other painting or the tone canvas really. I'm going to switch to a larger brush. I'm going to play with some of that new color for me, that ice blue. Let's see how it goes. Mm, it feels good. I like the texture of it. It's smooth. It didn't have hardly any medium to it. One of the ways I found out about this um, ice blue color, so it's actually 
thing around on, um, well, I was trying to look at <laughs> competitor and um, they offer classes. And so I was like, oh, cool. Maybe I can take one of their classes. Not necessarily like, you know, to compete, compete, but just kind of, I don't, I admit, I don't know everything. And you can always learn something from people. So um, anyway, I was looking at their supply list. I was like, ooh, what, what, what's that? And I uh, ordered some one night. This is my first time actually trying it. I've had it for like a couple, probably months. We're probably not supposed to use the term competitor because it, everybody's got their own different style and all that, but they paint some of the similar stuff that I do, just different style. So that's kind of... I think it's important to kind of know what's out there, and especially if people are stealing your stuff. There's people in like Japan and China that will just take your paintings off your website and put them on a pillow. And U.S. copyright law doesn't really cover international copyright law, so all you can do is send them an email going, "Hey, take my stuff down. I did not approve that." But anyway, so that's. Some other stuff I kind of keep watch on. I think in the past on these other three, I also used titanium white. This time I'm using radiant white. Grab some of that painting spray. I'm curious what it looks like with the ice blue. Ooh, pretty. Grab some more of that painting spray. Grab some of that green, mix it down with a little bit of Payne's gray. That makes a nice color. This one's definitely more soft than the ones I've done in the past so far.
between that. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee and take a look at it. Mm. I remember I used a little bit of alizarin crimson in this one. I liked that look. I'm going to do that in this one too. A little crimson, and I think I used some of the ultramarine blue. Yeah. Add a little bit of that around here. It's a little medium on here. So that paints go ahead and play with that in here. Oh yeah, that's coming off. Got some funky stuff going on. There we go.
funny how much different this one's turning out. Yeah, I've changed some of the colors around. But I'm liking it. I'm just kind of brushing around like that. I'm actually pulling some of those colors into the other area here where it was a little too light for my taste. And this way it kind of subdues it and harmonizes it a little bit. And this brush has got some pretty good use to it right here. So it's a uh, Adding in the look of um, fur strokes.
to get these types of strokes, all I'm doing is um, adding paint with very little medium and just kind of lightly dragging it across to where the paint is just being picked up on the um, the bumps of the canvas. That kind of gives it a little more sparkle. The way that hot hair kind of sparkles off of the sunshine. And just kind of going in the direction that the fur is going in. I think this one's my favorite one so far. And it came out a wee bit iffy in the beginning, I think. And this is one of the reasons why I have a time limitation, because I'll probably overwork it. Let's see how I'm doing. Five minutes left. Alright, this whole time I've been using two brushes. These two. It's a number eight and a number two. But I'm gonna go to the last one here. I'm gonna try one of my new brushes. This one's a flat, a little brighten. I uh, just want to clean up some of these lines. Last, I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight.
I'm gonna stop pedaling. Okay. Well, maybe I won't. <laughs> Something else I see that bothers me just a touch. It's not bad. And I have 49 seconds to go. <laughs> okay. So yeah, kind of like the whole purpose of this is to try out different um, colors without, um, I guess, the added stress of making it uh, perfect for the person that I'm painting it for. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the painting and I'm kind of digging it. It's uh, yeah, it's pretty. I think it's actually my favorite. I think uh, before that it was the other one. <laughs> so I think it's my favorite now. That's kind of cool. And I learned a couple things with um, different paint colors. I'm totally, where did that thing go? This ice blue, beautiful. Totally worth it. It's not it's not gambling, so I've gotta be careful with it. I'm sure it's got some toxic stuff in it. Linseed oil, sap oil, no, that's that's good. I don't know what's in it. So sometimes I paint with gloves, so I make sure that I don't, you know, contaminate myself and cut off an ear one day. So it's <laughs> but yeah, this was beautiful. The ice blue, love that. The Hanson yellow medium, love that. I know the next one, I've got this gold ochre. I'm dying to use that. Um, and then I bought this cadmium orange. I spent a little extra money on the cadmium orange and it's gonna be beautiful. Oh, and I got another color. Um, it was like really expensive. It was my birthday this weekend, so I went shopping. And, <laughs> and I bought cadmium yellow light. It's um, one of the, one of the most expensive ones that they have, but and I even got one that was a little bit damaged because it's the only one that they had and I had to have it. But um, yeah, I got that. So next painting, I think I'm gonna do. Um, that's gonna be like one of my daily practice. Uh, I'm definitely gonna take longer than um, 30 minutes because it's a little hand with. Um, and I may not make it a daily painting. I don't know. I drew it out with the purpose of a daily painting, but it's got a hand and it's got bubbles. And I just thought it'd be so pretty with all the, the rainbow colors in the bubble. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me this morning. And um, give me a, hey, Jennifer, thanks for the happy birthday. <laughs> but, um, it was a fun weekend for sure. But um, yeah, just give me some thumbs up, some likes. If you like seeing these daily paintings, just let me know because I do them and I could just have you guys hang out with me. Typically I have music, but I can't do that with um, uh, Facebook. But anyway, it was, I didn't even notice not having music. <laughs> so um, thanks guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.